In this video, we're going to talk about exposing parent-child relationships in Fusion 360. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to talk about parent-child relationships. I'm not going to go very deep into this topic, and if you just want the short version of that, if you hold down the left mouse button over an object inside of the canvas, you get a parents tab and you can navigate through and find the different parents of all of the objects that you have selected. For a deeper dive into this, we need to understand why a parent-child relationship is important. If you used any other CAD software before, whether it's Inventor or SolidWorks or SolidEdge, you know that the structure of your assembly, and more importantly, the sketches and features, where they belong, is an important aspect of how you determine a parametric model and how it's going to change and update. Fusion has had the makings of the parent-child relationship sort of undercover in the back end for a while. And I thought it was important to talk about this parent-child relationship and what we can get out of it in Fusion 360. Now, I've done a previous video before on the right-click option to find in browser and find in window, and if you select an individual feature in the timeline, you can right-click on it and you can find it in the timeline, find it in the canvas, find it in the window, and these are all great options. However, it doesn't really help us understand the hierarchy of the assembly. So in this instance, we have components. If we zoom in, there's a resistor, that belongs to the flight controller in this design. And just a heads up, if you're interested in this design, I am planning on doing a future video on this. It's a course that I released with Autodesk years ago for a UK-based competition called Air Engineers. Now that video series is no longer on the Autodesk site and Air Engineers is updating their Air Engineers competition. So in the future, I am gonna be talking about and releasing a video on just general chassis design. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. But what I wanna talk about here is that left click menu. If you hold down the left mouse button, you get to see everything that's underneath your cursor, whether it's a face, a vertice, or an entire component, all of that information is there. If you navigate to the parents tab, you get to see the face you selected, you get to see the feature that it's a part of. In this case, this component was inserted, it's called a base feature. Anytime you bring in a neutral CAD format, it makes a base feature. And then as you scroll down, it belongs to body 19. Now body 19, if you expand this component and you take a look at the board, underneath the board, it has a bodies folder. Underneath the bodies folder, there's body 19. Then you have the board itself, then you have the top level component, and then you have the entire design. So this can be helpful, especially if you're trying to identify a specific feature you can figure out exactly where that feature belongs, which feature is inherently its parent. So in this case, combine, which parent body it belongs to, which component in that body it belongs to, and the overall design in this case. So this is not a perfect solution by any means, but it does get us a little bit closer to a better understanding of the hierarchy in a design. Now, I will say that other SolidWorks Inventor and other functionality in CAD software will have a graphical preview, you know, potentially some arrows pointing you to what belongs to what. Inventor for sketches, for example, you have to share them in order to be able to use them in multiple features. Now, Fusion doesn't really have that. Sketches can just inherently be used in other bodies and other components. They're freely shared between the entire design. So it brings up an interesting problem when we're trying to figure out where these things are linked. So if you're trying to determine the hierarchy of the design that you're working on, then take a look at that left click hold down menu, and that'll let you figure out a component, a face, a feature, whatever it's attached to. So in this case, you can see that's attached to an extrude feature. If we select it, it'll find that feature for us. In a lot of cases, you can find it in the design in the browser. Sometimes you can find it in the timeline, depending on where it is. Uh, you can see here that there is some stuff that's that's currently hidden, but it is able to find the component that it's associated with and so on. So 
that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick update on that. I, I know that's a big topic. If you have any questions on it, please let me know. And also remember that we did start a Discord server. If you wanna be a part of that, send me an email, support at kadjicator.com. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.